In this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what nobody tells you when you buy your first home. My name is Steve Arthur and I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach area and all of the surrounding cities. Now, if this is your first time seeing me here on YouTube, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button. I think it's right about there. Because yeah, I could really use some self-esteem. I do work hard on these videos and a little pat on the back would be really nice. And of course, don't forget to ring that bell so you will be notified every time I do a new video. And I do these videos every single week about where you want to live, where you want to play, buying and selling your home, all within the Long Beach area and the surrounding city. So here are the six things that nobody tells you when you're buying your first home. Now, there's going to be times throughout this process where you're, you're gonna be confused or you might be just a little bit overwhelmed. Well, understand when you purchase a home and it goes into escrow, there is so much going on. You're gonna have the title company come in, they're gonna do title searches on that property to make sure it is free and clear for you to move into. You're also gonna have home inspections for your protection as the home buyer. And at this point, any potential home repairs will be negotiated. A termite inspection is gonna be done, an appraisal is gonna be done. So there really is a lot going on. So if at any point you do feel confused, you do feel overwhelmed, you need to talk to your realtor about what is going on. That is their job to one, coach you from the beginning and to guide you throughout the whole process. Be sure to budget for moving. Now, 30 years ago when I was like in my early 20s, we used to just call up your buddies. Hey, you want some pizza or you want a barbecue? Well, yeah, you got to move first. Okay. And that's how that worked. But today, not so much. You've got to plan on your move, okay? You've got to budget for your basic essentials, such as your boxes, your, your tape, your blankets to wrap up your glass, uh, trucks if you've got to rent. Or if you just want to hire a moving company to have it done in one shot for you. Because let's face it, most of the people move in on Saturday, they start unpacking their boxes. It's going to take a little while to get all the uh, boxes unpacked, to get the house in order, to get the kitchen running. So you're going to have a few fast food meals. So what I tell my client is also budget for, for meals in your moving expenses. Because let's face it, it is not uncommon for families to take two to three weeks to get their home in order after a move. We're sure that they're not here, right Chris? And another thing is get your utilities lined up ahead of time. Now there may be a deposit or an activation fee, so it's best to know about all that stuff. Get it activated so the day you move in, you've got your power and everything is in your name at that point. Problem number one. We had to set up like obviously like all the electricity, all of the gas and all that stuff. And we were supposed to have our trash cans delivered on Tuesday. Be like, give me a confirmation number and everything. And when we got here today, there's nothing here. Now this next one, when I bring up to my clients, they always are kind of like, oh, I didn't think about it and it's so simple. Change your animal's tags to the new address before you move. It's going to be a brand new environment for your pets, so they're going to be checking out everything. And if somebody leaves a gate open or a door, they're going to check out the neighborhood. So at least you want your address on your pets the day you move. Are the kitties in there? They're freaking out. Uh, Mowgli, hi baby. So he's checking everything out. We're seeing they're all she's in a new environment, so they're just Yeah, oh my god, yeah, they're so confused. From the time that you start looking for a home and then you actually submit an offer, you're probably gonna have changed your mind a couple of times about what you actually want. So let me explain to you what I mean by that. So let's say you're looking for a three bedroom, two bath two car garage with granite countertops and hardwood floors throughout the house. So we go out and we start looking and you find a few, but we also start realizing that they're just out of your price. Range. So maybe you find the perfect home that has everything. It checks all the boxes that you want, except for one thing. It doesn't have the granite countertops. So you may need to find a house that checks off most of the boxes and those other boxes you can get to down the road. So you start looking for a home that's within your price range and you find one that 
checks off the majority of the boxes except for it doesn't have granite countertops and you're not really too thrilled about the uh, fixtures in the kitchen, the fixtures in the bathroom, but it is in your price range. Well, you can always change those out later. You can get new kitchen fixtures, you can get new bathroom fixtures, you can get new granite countertops or do an epoxy countertop or a concrete countertop. There's so many different options out there, but you're still gonna have the home inspection. And that home inspector, he is going to find things wrong. Basically, their job is to go into this home and dissect it and check everything out so they can protect you, the home buyer. And we even do this on brand new construction homes too because there are problems with those homes also. But they will find everything from too much dirt in the planter, a leaky faucet, a hole in the roof, and basically everything in between there. But the key here is to focus on any major issues that need attention, if any. Now, if you're not gonna ask the seller to repair the home because it might not be to your satisfaction, and you're gonna ask for a credit to cover the cost of the repairs for you to do it yourself. I always highly recommend to get a quote from a contractor ahead of time. Say the contractor comes in and says, okay, it's $4,000 worth of work that needs to be done. I am not saying that that seller is gonna just immediately say, yep, okay, here you go, $4,000 credit. Because you don't wanna have the home inspector saying, here's a list of the repairs. The homeowner will just tell you, okay, well, here's $800 and you accept it and only to find out later that it wasn't nearly enough to cover the cost. And another thing is, don't get caught up in the small and the superficial things of the house. And I get it, I know it's super easy to get caught up in the superficial things of the home. But you know, things like the paint, things like the tile, all that can be replaced later. Things like the paint color, the the accent wall, the, the hardwood floors, the beautiful tile jobs, or the hardwood versus carpeting, or like I said earlier, the fixtures that are in the kitchen, the fixtures that are in the bathroom. And these are all relatively easy things that can be changed later and to your personal liking. Now, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. When you're ready to buy or sell your home here in Long Beach, all you gotta do is reach out to me any which way you want. All my information is down below. Until next time, you take care. That's all, folks.